Hi, I'm Nita Strauss, and today we are going to talk about integrating your rhythm playing and your lead playing seamlessly. A lot of times, guitar players get stuck in this rut of now I'm playing rhythm, now I'm playing lead, I have to hold my pick differently, I have to change all this stuff around. And really, when you're doing little licks in between rhythm parts, you don't have to change your mindset too much. It can all be seamlessly integrated into one happy family of guitar playing. So I'm going to show you a couple licks right now that combine some chords and some single notes to get you used to the feeling of playing some leads and playing rhythm at the same time. One of the cool things about playing in the current incarnation of the Alice Cooper Band is we have three guitar players to play around with. And that gives us a really cool opportunity to create this big, as Bob Ezrin calls it, this big wall of sound. You know, with someone always holding down the rhythm part and being able to cover two harmonies at once and not have it sound empty, not using any backing tracks, not using anything at all. So I'm going to take you through a typical example of a way that we take a classic Alice riff and add a little twist to it. If you guys have been following along, you might remember a few lessons ago we talked about three notes per string and how it's the most economical way, in my opinion, to make scale patterns. But every rule has an exception, and this is one of those exceptions to the rule. So the lower scale pattern is played like so. And that scale pattern continues throughout the whole, you know, that's the whole rhythm part of it. Then we switch up to the higher harmony, the minor third harmony. Same pattern, higher up on the neck, or higher up on the fretboard. So it's a really cool minor third harmony and gives the song a much more expansive and interesting feel and vibe to it. 